Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here as always. Uh, we are doing part two of the 2023 LEGO Star Wars advent calendar. Uh, this is going to be numbers uh, what was it? six through, no, five, sorry, five through nine, because we only did days one through four, the last one, and then the following videos will be another set of five each until the 24th. Um, Actually, I've got some pretty good lighting uh, this time because, uh, well, we still have a problem with the leaking, so I had to move everything out of the way, so I'm, I'm right here in the middle of, uh, middle of my basement again. Um, you can see all the way over there. It's a pretty big place down here, but like, I usually have it right up there against the wall, but we might have finally figured out what the issue is, that we've got a uh, downspout for the gutters right above where that leak is and we think water is streaming from underneath it straight down and onto the the wall <sighs> but that's not going to stop me so let's just get cracking into this like we built the, those four in the last video and uh, i've already opened these but i don't know what they are yet because i haven't looked but this is what is oh yeah yeah it's clone turbo tank that's what this is. You see it there? I don't, you can't really tell, but yeah, that's a clone turbo tank. Uh, I have I have one of the big sets back there. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get the the most recent one they did. And well, I mean, recent isn't really recent. It was several years ago. Uh, it had Quinlan Voss in it. I I didn't get that one because I already had the first one they made. Um, but it's it's a I don't know if it was the first one. It might have been the middle one. I think they might have three. I'd have to look it up. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's an interesting kind of vehicle. I think we only see it really in episode three. Um, it, they're on Kashik. You get the AT... OT, I believe, with the dropship on Felucia. And those are both in episode three. And I don't think we ever saw it in episode two. And we don't, you don't see it in any other things. So that's the one downside about the uh, prequels. They had some really cool designs, but they don't use them anywhere else. And then we do get a lot of decent play skill uh, sets for the prequel series but I wish they would do more UCS ones well then here is actually a rather recent piece I don't know if you can tell this is a one by one by two it's actually just two-thirds the size or the height of a normal brick here's the regular height they uh, I think they came out with that this year and they've been putting in more stuff and it's Actually, a pretty good piece because here you got this cheese web slope that's only one to two tiles high, and this matches up with it. Um, I'm pretty interested to see what else they can use that part for. Um, I'm fairly certain a lot of mock builders have <laughs> gotten their hands on a bunch of those because I do know having to double up on one by one plates you get kind of tedious it's good to have like a dedicated part for that and this piece goes here and then all these wheels on the sides like this is I mean it's not the best looking it's not very solid either but it gets the point across like you get the gist of this being a turbo tank. Is that it? That's everything. Yeah, so I mean, it you can you can get the gist of that. And that's sort of what the advent calendars are about. They got these tiny little builds that kind of embrace the spirit of a a location or a vehicle. And they're just kind of super duper cute. That's a cute little guy. Got all these extras over here. That was 
five, six is over here. This is a country I don't know if this is specifically Commander Cody. Could be, but it is someone from his legion, so most likely it is a Commander Cody. Yeah, boop. And like I was saying in the, in the last one, um, when they have a figure, either before or after it is usually a little build that goes with it, except for the uh, Omega, or Omega, as she says, uh, the Omega over there came with the sled. And I was actually pretty surprised by the fact that you didn't have to wait another day to get it. I don't even have to look at the instructions. That's pretty standard it's always good to have just not full white stormtroopers, not generic troopers. With these, uh, pardon me. I think he's the 212th. Don't quote me on that. I'm not exactly sure. But if it's not Cody, then it's someone in his legion or battalion. I'm not well versed on that stuff. Seven's here in the corner. Speaking of Omega on the sled, pull her forward. What do we have here? We have... What do we have here? Oh, I, okay, that's um, that's the clone, um, like, um, little command center. I don't know the exact phrase for it. It's mobile command center. That's what it is. And you get some of these in the, um, like, the gunship sets, the playset gunships. You get one or two of them have these. Uh, they had a clone trooper battle pack, I think had one of these in it. And then the UCS gunship, which I have, but I have not put together yet, also comes with a buildable mobile commander. The only issue is that the, uh, the UCS gunship, beautiful design, but the scale is kind of weird. It's not the same kind of scale that they'd have the other UCSs, which are pretty close to, or as close as they can get to minifig scale. And, and like, I'm not trying to crap on the gunship because I went out and bought it and it's like, this is a, a gorgeous, gorgeous ship. And it's not really a ship, it's more of a shuttle. Um, but like, it is kind of an awkward, proportion but yeah you got this little command center you got these flaps that go up there that's a nice touch because they do have the the deployable little ramps to get there and that and then they've got i assume this is going to be like their communications dish it's cute and you get your little clone trooper right in there there's a little mobile Mobile command thing. I'm going to put those together. Save space. So that's number seven. Eight is over here. And we have, as my wife and I like to call them, a Roger Roger. Honestly, these are like the best part of Star Wars, hands down. I mean, they are dumb in the best way. And and, and Ken, that, was, that was the whole point of this, the the B1 battle droids. They were not the brightest. They were cheap to produce, easy to control, easy to deploy, and the whole purpose of them was to overwhelm with numbers. So you don't have to have you know, these specialized droids. But they were very easily reprogrammed to fit other tasks and stuff like that. And I just, they're so good. I love these things. They're they're dumb, and I'm all about it. I love I love some Roger Rogers. We got those there. Extra arms. I use those for my custom guys. Oh, never have enough of those pieces. Man, we're really plugging along real fast. Let's get to number nine. Here's the last one. What do we have? We have a stap. Awesome. I actually have one of the old staps over here. Grab this. 
So this is the old design. Um, I gotta figure out which set this is from. I'll, I'll put it with that. Um, I don't know if this is the original design for the steps or not. I feel like they might have had one before this. Um, but I got that. And then I'm actually gonna grab something real quick. Uh, we just went to the mall and there's a place called the Star Wars store and it's got a whole bunch of old uh, You know action figures play sets. They have a bunch of Legos there, too um, You know Star Wars Transformers they had Warcraft figurines um, I'm just grab this real quick Now this is not Lego, but it was too good to pass up this is a episode one sneak peek Kenner collection Stap and Battle Droid. You got he you got your Roger Roger on your Stap. It's too good. This actually came out. Um, where did this come out? This came out the year I, I don't know. It's about six months before episode one came out. So it's a it's a sneak peek, and I didn't know they had done that. Like, I do, I remember, you know, when I was a little kid, went and saw Phantom Menace in the theaters. It was a great movie. Um, I don't, I didn't see back then why people thought the prequels were bad. Um, but growing up, yeah, I get it. They're campy. They got bad dialogue and plot holes galore. But honestly, the sequels, not the sequels, sorry. Sequels are another story. The prequels... They got that, just, that nostalgic love to them. Um, that just, I don't know. There's something about the sequels. It's, everything is nice and new looking and shiny. And it just gives you that fresh look on the Star Wars galaxy that you don't get from the original trilogy. Because, I mean, the look they were going for the originals was dingy and scuzzy and you know it's war and like i get that and this piece ah. they've been using this piece for so long it might be older than i am it's a super versatile piece let's see put that there don't like that these guys go on the side for the footholds. What do we have? And then, oh, the original Star Wars blasters. Gotta love those. I mean, they've been using these for about as long as that last piece. These go on the sides as the Engines actually same exact piece on this one same size and everything That's funny. I mean hey the piece works. Don't change it We got we have, we got that with that Get those together That's the front. How far does that go? Does it go all the way down? I think this goes all the way down. Does it make sense? Give me a second here. That there. And then. Yeah, no, that. Uh, am I doing this wrong? These directions get kind of a little weird because it's done in chunks and it's hard to tell. Because. It looks to me like it shows that you got to put this part on like that, but if anything, it has to go on like that. I don't know. We'll finish it and see how it works. And then you got this guy. That guy on the back. The handles. This guy in the front for the... Lasers comes with these kind of a uh, dark s steel gray lightsaber handles. These are always nice to have. Put those on there. 
and then that in the front. I don't know. Like, I feel like this is supposed to be there, like that. I mean, portion wise, this might have to go up further. I mean, that is kind of flimsy. It's only there by one stud. Otherwise, it's going to hit the, uh, the studs on this plate. But hey, you know, if that's, that's how it goes, that's how it goes. Let's put this guy on it. Little feet in there. Yeah, that's that's kind of flimsy. I don't I don't know. I kind of don't like that connection right there. Cuz like that just pops right out. I don't I don't like that. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Let me just Hmm. Does it pop in? Oh, well, I'm just going to use this extra piece right here and uh, pop that right there. And now you're not on it. And like that, that feels like it's kind of supposed to be that way. We'll just, we'll just call that good. Let me go with that. Like, it's hard to see these instructions. It's hard to tell where they're supposed to be, but yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. I think that last piece I put on there is actually supposed to be there on the bottom. You can't really tell, but it does look... Yeah, yeah. I just oopsed into the actual proper location of that piece. Well, you know, it happens. So that is uh, five through nine. Uh, we're gonna be back here next week. Yeah, next five days. 14th we're gonna we're gonna build through the next five see what kind of fun stuff we got uh, so far we've only got Omega we haven't got these other guys yet so I mean there's what 24 so we got another 15 to go we're not even halfway anyways uh I look forward to what is in the next ones uh, I hope you do too um, like and subscribe comment if you want to do the YouTube thing and uh, I'll see you next time. Toodles.